Yo, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Tactical Chaos One. I hope you guys just enjoyed that brief little demo of the build that I'm about to show you guys. If you guys did and you guys are enjoying my channel, thank you guys a lot for supporting it. Welcome to Tactical Chaos One. For real, if you guys want to help the homie out, hit that subscribe button real quick. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, you know, just enjoy the videos. Check out my channel. I got a lot of other videos from tactical shooters to Division 2 builds to Ghost of Tsushima. All kinds of shit. I'm sure you guys will find something that you like. If not, let me know what I can do, um, you know, to bring content to my channel that, you know, fits your style a little bit more. Anyway, thank you guys. Let's get into this build. So today what we are rocking is the Hunter Fury gear set build with, uh, here we'll go over it right now. So for my specialization, I got the gunner specialization, which allows me um, a little bit of 10% um, armor on kill along with 5% um, rate of fire increase. And with the Banshee Pulse, if I decide to use it, but I don't got the Banshee Pulse on this build. I do have the Assault Drone and the Shield. And for my weapons, I have... The police UMP 45 with strained on it, 10% critical hit damage every 0.5 seconds you are firing, with damage to target out of cover, critical hit chance, and SMG damage. For my other weapon, I have the SIG MPX with Sadist on it, uh, deal 20% damage to bleeding enemies. So well, that's hella cool because that's going to go super sick with this build. We have 11.9 uh, SMG damage, 16.5 critical hit chance, and 8% uh, damage to target out of cover. I haven't fully upgraded this uh, SMG yet. I'm still working on that, getting all the materials that I need to do that. But this is basically a good build template. So for the four-piece gear set, we have the Hunter Fury Mask with uh, weapon damage, critical hit damage, and a critical hit damage mod on it. The gloves... With a critical hit damage mod, weapon damage, knee pads. I have armor on there, so I have a little bit of armor with this build. And 5% critical hit chance. And my holster is weapon damage and critical hit damage. Now what the 4-piece Hunter Fury does is 15% shotgun damage, 15% SMG damage at 2 pieces. With 3 pieces, you get 20% armor on kill and 100% health on kill. Now with the gunner specialization already offering you 10% armor on kill, you are stacking 30% on every kill. Uh, armor refill so it's a super awesome survivability gear set along with weapon damage now when you have four pieces you get the apex predator buff enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20 percent killing debuffed enemies with your weapon disorients any weapons within five meters and the same thing as the banshee pulse which i absolutely love Disorient enemies when you shoot one dude in front kill one dude in a group it disorients them all and you just got time to lay ways to all of them and killing an enemy amplifies weapon damage for by 5% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. So you keep stacking them kills, you're going to increase your Apex Predator buff from 20% off top to 45% with that extra 25% from killing enemies. So that is super dope-ass gear set. I mean, high weapon damage, health on kill, armor on kill, you could not ask for more than that. Now for my chest piece, this is what makes this build so sick. Bleeding Fury. It is Ridgeway's Pride. Now, this shit is super dope. I call this build Bleeding Fury because Hunter Fury with Ridgeway's Pride, you're always shooting any enemies within 15 meters with hollow points causing bleed. Now, I have 15% weapon damage, 5.5% critical hit chance, 12% critical hit damage with 11% critical hit damage mod, and the talent is Bleeding Edge. Shooting enemies within 15 meters applies bleed to the target. And um, the more enemies you have bleeding, the more armor you repair. Repair to 3 to 48% of your armor per every second for enemies that are bleeding within 15 meters. So that's super sick. That is also an armor regeneration mechanic added to this build, along with allowing your sadist to always be getting that 20% weapon damage. Because every time you shoot a bleeding enemy, you get 20% weapon damage with the sadist. So it goes perfect with Ridgeway's Pride. My backpack, this also goes awesome with Ridgeway's Pride and Sadist, is Group Sombra, 15% critical hit damage, 10% uh, weapon damage, 4.5 critical hit chance with 12% critical hit damage, and a 12% critical hit damage mod. My talent is Wicked. Applying a status effect increases, uh, applying a status effect increases total weapon damage by 18% for 20 seconds. So every time you shoot an enemy and you're causing bleed on them, that's causing status effect. Causing another buff right there, 18% uh, weapon damage buff. 
off top. So that is super dope. They all, everything in this build, you know, complements each other, making this build super sick. I absolutely love it. And um, if you're facing a lot of dudes and you want to get up close, that's why I got the shield for a little bit of protection. It is only tier one, so don't rely on your shield too much. It will get torn to bitch pretty damn quick. My assault drone. Uh, it really has no purpose in this build other than distracting enemies, giving them something to focus on while I have time to kill them all. You know, usually I would either rock the Banshee Pulse, or I would rock a Reviver Hive, or even a Stinger Hive with uh, um, the Sadist on my weapon for bleed. Anyway, this weapon's pretty badass. My pistol, it has the finisher on it, killing an enemy within 10 Killing an enemy with your pistol and swapping back to your primary within 10 seconds grants you an extra 30% critical hit chance and 30% critical hit damage for 15 seconds. Now let's go check out the stats real quick. We have 146k weapon damage, 58% critical hit chance, 154 critical hit damage, and if you're using the UMP with strained on it, you can get that up to 200 and t uh, 205 critical hit damage pretty damn quick. Come down here. 80% all up and damage bonuses. 42% of that is submachine gun bonus. You know, causing semi submachine gun damage bonus. That is just beast. Absolutely love it. And we got um, 273k armor on kill, which is 30% roughly armor on kill and 100% health on kill. Makes this build super dope. I hope you guys check it out. And if you do and you guys enjoy it, let me know what you think about it. You do have to grind uh, the summit, I believe. Yeah, the summit to get the Ridgeway's Pride. Look at your challenges up there. It's been a while since I grabbed it. So if you guys ain't got it and you guys want to put this build together, go check out the summer, uh, summit objectives and you guys can figure out how to get that done. And hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.